The speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 5 kilometers per second. The distance from the sun to the earth, 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. The question is, how long is the time? Well, we know that velocity is distance over time, so if we write it up in this triangle and we want to find out what time is, cover our hand with time, and it gives us distance over velocity. As a little check there, we make sure that we've got the right units. The distance is measured in kilometers. The velocity is measured in kilometers per second. This formula will only work if you've got the right units. Kilometers divided by kilometers disappears. Seconds divided twice is the same as it's going to be multiplied. So it's going to be that this double divide takes the seconds up to the top. So we know that the time answer we'll get will be in seconds. So we have the distance is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 time t, defining all our symbols, is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 divided by 3 times 10 to the power 5. The smart thing to do here is to actually, um, I'd probably change this into 15 times 10 to the power 7. If I do that, I don't make a silly mistake with decimal points. Change 1.5 times 10 to the 8 into the same number, 15 times 10 to the 7, and divide by 3 times 10 to the power 5. 3 now di divides perfectly into 15, 5 times. 10 to the 7 divided by 10 to the 5 is times 10 to the 7 minus 5, 10 squared. So we know we have 500 seconds. Are we allowed to leave the answer like that? No, we're not. Anything more than 100 seconds, you have to change it and convert it into minutes and seconds. If we convert 500 seconds into 480 seconds plus 20 seconds left over. So you don't make the silly mistake here. 480 can then be divided by 60. 480 into 60 goes 8 times. So you get 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay? So that's a quick step for not making a silly mistake with the decimals here and then trying to get it back into number of seconds. So that's how you do that one for the speed of light. Sorry for the